Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I've got a huge DVD Blu-ray update for you guys. But before I dive into the update, I wanted to show you a couple of little collectible things that um, that I recently picked up. One is a gift for my girlfriend. The other I just um, bought for myself because I thought it was cool. The first is uh, something my girlfriend bought me. It is a Friday the 13th um, drinking glass, and there you have the uh, the mask on the front. Friday the 13th on the back, some blood droplets uh, here and there. Um, yeah, clearly my girlfriend is pretty awesome that she uh, she knows my new obsession is with um, hockey masks or Jason masks. And um, she saw this and she was like, I'm going to buy you this. And I didn't stop her. So that's very, very cool. Very, very cool. And then I saw this and I had to buy it for myself because it's just so cute. It is a uh, little stuffed Jason and um, isn't that just darling? Look how darling that is. Isn't that, that precious? It's his little machete there. Yeah, I thought that was cool. So yeah, pick that up. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. So on to the uh, the actual update here. Um, got a bunch of uh, got a bunch of Blu-rays here. I'll dive right into them. Um, the first up is the collector's edition Blu-ray of Phantasm 2. I did an unboxing or an unpackaging video of this and a full review, so go check those out. Um, lots of great special features on this. A great release, another great release from Scream Factory, um, and their long line of great releases. If you're a fan of Phantasm 2, you need to own this. Next up, the collector's edition of Terror Train. I actually picked this up off of uh, Shout or Scream Factory's official website because uh, they had several other Blu-rays marked down. Um, and uh, they had this one for 15 bucks. I held off buying this one uh, at full price because um, I'd heard that the special features were a little lacking. And they are. We've got a few, uh, few interviews on here. Nothing that in-depth. Nothing too really mind-blowing or um, earth-shattering as far as uh, Terror Train is, is concerned. Um, I've actually not sat down and watched the actual film yet uh, in HD, but it is, you know, Terror Train is, is one of the better early 80s slasher flicks. Um, so yeah, um, pick this up 15 bucks, Terror Train. Uh, another one picked up for 15 bucks. Um, not a collector's edition, but God, I love this cover art. This is the Nest Blu-ray from Scream Factory, and how awesome. I mean, they don't make cover art like this anymore. I mean, look at that. You've got a giant cockroach attacking a semi-nude woman. I'm in. You've, you've sold me by, the, by this image alone. I'm going to watch this movie. Um, she's just the appetizer is the uh, tagline. Uh, of course, we don't have gigantic cockroaches like this, and I don't recall them attacking any semi-nude uh, women in the film. Uh, kind of a fun movie. Um, not not great, but uh, picked it up for 15 bucks. I uh, hadn't seen it before. Checked it out. Um, it's okay. Fun. Kind of, um, you know, nature run amok kind of flick. And if you'll notice here, one of, his, one of the cockroaches' giant tentacles is, of course, right on this, this poor lady's breastuses um, next up got a double feature from Screen Fa or Screen Factory yes got Terror Vision and the video dead keep your eyes peeled I'm going to do a full review of this release of both movies as a, a video or a, a review request the video dead what can you say about it it is so bad it's almost good and the Terror Vision wow Terror Vision I'll definitely talk more in depth about both um, the special features on here, especially on the TerraVision side, if you're a fan of TerraVision, you need to pick this up. Over half an hour documentary about the making of TerraVision on here. Tons of interviews. Really cool, really in-depth. Everything you'd ever wanted to know about TerraVision is on this disc. So if you're a fan of TerraVision, you definitely need to pick this up. And like I said, Video Dead is kind of, you know, it's a sentimental kind of thing because it's kind of, like I said, so bad, it's almost good. I uh, picked these two up used from uh, Hastings. Um, this is Drive Angry um, with Nicolas Cage in it. What can you say about this movie? Just tons of fun, really over the top. Just a really cool, you know. Uh, Roger Ebert says it back, uh, says it best on the back here. So jaw-droppingly excessive that even Quentin Tarantino might send flowers. Indeed. Um, gotta love Drive Angry. Gotta love Drive Angry. 
Uh, next up, I uh, picked this up and actually didn't pay $12.99 for it. I think I paid $6.99 or $7.99 for it. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Love Rooney Mars' performance in this. I thought it was a really interesting sort of murder mystery uh, kind of movie. Um, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to checking it out again. Uh, so what kind of special features we got on here? Audio commentary with David Fincher. That's about it. But I'm sure that'll be uh, that'll be fairly interesting. Um, so yeah, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Next up, got a ton of DVDs here. Um, the first bunch is from Big Lots, and I'm happy to say that after a significant DVD drought, Big Lots finally replenished their shelves, and I picked up um, some fairly interesting titles here. The first one is a uh, lesser-known Martin Scorsese movie, After Hours. Haven't checked this out yet, but um, yeah, it looks like a pretty interesting movie. If anybody's seen this, um, Please let me know what you think of it. It's got some cool special features on it. Got a commentary with uh, Star Griffin Dunn and uh, Martin Scorsese, uh, the uh, making of documentary, and deleted scenes, stuff like that. Um, so you're yeah, definitely checking for, uh, looking forward to checking this out. Uh, yeah, one of the lesser known uh, Scorsese flicks. So yeah, if you've seen that one, let me know what you think of it. Another one, if you've seen it, let me know what you think of it. This one sounded pretty interesting. Uh, it's Rocket Science. Looks like kind of a quirky, coming-of-age kind of movie. Uh, the late, great Roger Ebert gave it three and a half stars, so that's pretty promising. Um, thought it sounded interesting, so I decided to uh, to pick it up. Um, yeah, kind of a uh, coming-of-age, quirky kind of flick. Looks interesting. Uh, we'll check it out. The next one, Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood. How can you not love this movie? Um, yeah, just silly, goofy, over-the-top, fun movie. And that is exactly what it strives to be, and it succeeds with flying colors. Uh, a lot of fun. Dennis Miller and Angie Everhart, or Erica Elaniac, I'm sorry, um, and Angie Everhart. Um, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to checking this out again. Haven't seen it in quite a while, but, um, yeah, Bordello of Blood. Uh, next up, uh, Straw Dogs. This is the remake. Um, haven't seen it. Uh, actually, I haven't seen the original Straw Dogs with Dustin Hoffman. Um, I probably should watch it first before watching this. But kind of picked this up because I thought it might be one of those, um, you know, might be an interesting, you know, sort of rainy day. I'm bored. Don't have anything better to do. Uh, kind of movies to watch. So, uh, yeah. Next up, uh, oh my God, Screwed with Norm Macdonald, Dave Chappelle, and uh, Danny DeVito. Not a, <laughs> by no means a good movie, but it's one that, that I find kind of, uh, kind of amusing. Um, it's one with just a very plagued, tortured production history. Um, it went through like 80 different titles before they finally settled on Screwed. It was postponed. It's released so many times over and over again. And uh, you can kind of see why. It's kind of a messy movie, but I've always enjoyed it. Um, screwed. Next up, I'd seen bits and pieces of this one on TV, but um, I saw it for three bucks and thought it looked interesting. And I like Sarah Pauly. I think she's a good actress, so I picked up Splice. Um, I've heard good and bad things about it, but um, uh, and what little bit I saw of it on TV I thought was, was not bad. So, uh, yeah, decided I would uh, pick it up for three bucks and um, give it a watch. The next movie, and um, some of you might... Um, I don't know what to say. I'm going to say I actually re-watched this movie, and I'm probably one of the few people on earth who can say that they watched this movie and decided that they would re-watch it. And I'm talking about Hellraiser Revelations. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness. I um, did a full review on this movie a couple of years ago when it first came out. Go check that out. But, um, yeah, and I, you know, again, homesick from work one day. And I have no idea why, but I was like, I'm going to watch this. Uh, I picked it up for three bucks at Big Lots, and I was like, yeah, today's the day I'm going to sit down and rewatch. That's right, rewatch Hellraiser Revelations. And I got to tell you, it holds up. It holds up. It's still bad. Next up, The American with George Clooney. Um, Roger Ebert gave it four stars and called it gripping, so that's basically why I bought it. Um, George Clooney plays some kind of hitman, I think. Uh, if anybody's seen this movie, let me know what you think of it. Um, next up, uh, these are pickups that I bought at a used bookstore. Um, some movies that I thought looked pretty interesting, and they were super cheap. First up is August with uh, 
Josh Hartnett looked like a fairly uh, artsy kind of movie. Uh, August follows an aggressive young dot-com entrepreneur as he struggles to keep his head above water when the bottom falls out of the stock market. So, yeah, it looks pretty interesting and, um, yeah, thought I would check it out. And for the, uh, the price of $1.95, you can't go wrong. Next up, this one was $2.95, The Orphanage. Saw this movie a couple of years ago. Um, really enjoyed it, so saw it for $2.95 and decided to pick it up. And I uh, thought it was something that, uh, that I could watch with my girlfriend. And it is one that Roger Ebert gave three and a half stars to. Uh, another movie that Roger Ebert liked quite a bit, but uh, wasn't a very wasn't a, cr uh, a critical or commercial success. Femme Fatale from Brian De Palma. Uh, I'm a big Brian De Palma fan. All of his movies, even the ones that aren't that great, are really interesting and really well made and stylish. And um, like Roger Ebert says on the back, it's a sexy thriller, superb style and craftsmanship, and that's really what you get from uh, Brian De Palma. He is a uh, uh, he's he's a craftsman when he comes to uh, to making films. And I always really enjoyed this movie. Um, haven't seen it in a couple of years, but I thought it was um, pretty underrated. And for buck ninety five, yeah, I will check it out again. Um, I actually own this movie on Blu-ray, but I picked it up because. Um, I hadn't seen this edition before, and my girlfriend's a big fan of the movie, so I decided I'd buy it for her. And that is Big Trouble in Little China. This is this is the two disc special uh, edition um, with the uh, the uh, yeah the breakdown kind of case here. Um, uh, yeah, got some special features on it. I think it's pretty much the same stuff that's on the the Blu-ray and the other uh, DVD release, which is. Uh, uh, deleted scenes, a featurette, interview with Richard Edlin, you got commentary with John Carpenter and, and Kurt Russell. But yeah, awesome movie. Such a great movie. Um, gotta love it. Gotta love it. And I decided to pick it up because uh, I hadn't seen this edition before. And again, I uh, wanted to give it to my girlfriend. Um, this movie um, I actually picked up uh, at Walmart for five bucks. All nine Puppet Master movies. This is the Puppet Master Collection at Walmart for five bucks and um, I actually saw somebody posted on Facebook the other day one of these that was selling in some sort of I don't know what kind of store it was used and they were it had a price tag on it for like 40 bucks um, and if you bought the DVD collection the box set that came out a few years ago you probably paid about that much for it and now you can get them all on probably I'm guessing probably feels like there's maybe two discs in here maybe three at the very most but um, yeah all nine for five bucks so now I can say proudly I, I guess proudly um, that I own all the Puppet Master movies uh, picked this up at Walmart also I think it was like seven bucks but it is a four hammer Dracula films we have got Horror of Dracula Dracula has risen from the grave, uh, Taste of Blood of Dracula, and Dracula 80, 1972. Um, who doesn't love some Hammer Dracula flicks? A uh, bunch of movies that, again, rainy day, bored, nothing to do. Um, I'll reach for these and pop them in and uh, watch Christopher Lee as Draculia. Next up is a movie that I absolutely freaking love from director Don Coscarelli. John dies at the end. I did a full review of this movie. Go check that out by all means. And by all means, go check this puppy out. This was really one of just the most entertaining and different and fun and just freaky movies that I'd seen in such a long time. It's one of those movies that you can watch and then re-watch. It, it, it definitely merits multiple viewings to kind of take it all in because there's, there's a lot going on there. And um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. John dies at the end. Uh, Pick this up, Storage 24. It's kind of a uh, alien ripoff, but instead of in space, it takes place at this storage facility. I actually haven't made it through the entire movie, but um, I may eventually. Um, I watched about half of it on, on actually a rainy, kind of boring day. And uh, something came along and I actually stopped. Um, and I've just not had the urge to finish it up. But um, yeah, kind of uh, think of Alien in a storage facility. And you've got Storage 24. And last but not least, I picked this up at, at a Dollar General store of all places. 
the Witch House trilogy. Picked this up for ten bucks. Uh, all three Witch House movies: Witch House, Witch House Two: Blood Coven, and Witch House Three: Demon Fire. All three uh, Witch House movies. Um, kind of an impulse buy. Another one that you know, on a, a rainy, boring day, I will reach for and um, pop these in, or, or one or the other, and watch them. And um, yeah, the Witch House flicks from Full Moon. Um, what can you say? All three for ten bucks. So yeah, that was my huge DVD Blu-ray update. Um, as you probably saw, there was a recurring theme in those um, uh, about Roger Ebert who passed away recently. And um, just want to say rest in peace to Roger Ebert. He was one of the few mainstream film critics whose opinion I really respected and took to heart. And uh, if there was a movie that I was kind of on the fence about watching, I would jump on IMDb, go to the external reviews and see if... Uh, Roger Ebert had written a review of it, and um, not only was he just a great film critic, he was a great writer in general, and a prolific writer, even right up to the point uh, where he passed away. Um, so definitely, uh, definitely he'll be missed, and he really brought the film critic uh, as someone, uh, you know, the forefront, um, film criticism just in general, um, I think. So he, uh, he deserves a lot of... Uh, a lot of props and a lot of praise and he will certainly be missed so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the update uh, until next time you all take it easy peace